राष्ट्रीय मानव अधिकार आयोग नई दिल्ली के महासचिव बिम्बाधर प्रधान ने शुक्रवार को वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के माध्यम से आयोग से संबंधित मामलों की समीक्षा की गोरखपुर के एनआईसी हॉल में आयोजित वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग में जिलाधिकारी के विजेंद्र पांडेन डीआईजी एसएसपी जोगेंद्र कुमार जेलर रामधनी या एडीएम सिटी राकेश कुमार श्रीवास्तव मौजूद रहे इस दौरान महासचिव बिम्बाधर प्रधान ने आयोग के उद्देश्यों को बताते हुए आय मामलों का समय से निस्तारण के निर्देश दिए इस दौरान उन्होंने आयोग से संबंधित एक प्रकरणों की समीक्षा की तथा आवश्यक दिशा निर्देश दिए before going into the cases in details i would uh, request to all of you that we have a common goal and object to protect preserve and promote human rights and since the uh, state of uttar pradesh is leading the largest and populous state we have total 173 and i must acknowledge you know our sincere thanks to all of you and your team today it is only 92 So now for me, if I have to, you know, just request you two or three things. 2012 only one case is pending of this. If you can give little, I think, you know, one minute of your time, then it will be also liquidated. So 2012 only one case is pending. 2013 only three pending. 2014 only one. So my request to you of this will be. 2012, 2013, 2014. Only four cases of UP are pending. So please look into it so that we can liquidate these four up to 2014. So by 26th of this month. Now let's take 2015, 2016, and 2017. 2015 only six cases are pending. And 2016 it is 34 34 2017 it is 37 so if you take this 2012 to 2017 in of this it is only 92 what i will request you you know if you can review at your level and again we meet in the first week of april at least please liquidate these 92 cases by 31st of march from my side you know let's target these 92 cases up to 31st of march then we meet in the first week of april to review the pending cases of 2018 and 2019 thank you it is of the various uh, uh, parts of our uh, system i have all the representatives of the various departments who have come to us so basically Uh, all of us, on behalf of uh, uh, Bhagwan, R P Singh, Anand, all of our officers, I would like to state that we have worked hard in the last one week since we have given this uh, call for the meeting, and I am so very happy that with the uh, help of the commission, we were able to uh, reply and reply formally with uh, proper satisfaction and. we have ensured that actually what was the intent of the commission has been achieved so large number of cases we have been able to reply as you have rightly stated the old cases have to be taken up fast and i assure you that uh, the cases for 2012 which is a single case 13 3 cases 14 1 case and 15 8 cases 8 plus 1 9 plus 3 12 and 1 13 cases we will assure you we will take all the uh, input from all the departments and we will ensure that it is all clear from the ministry of labor so that the ministry of labor is by the ministry of labor to the up government roughly it is ensured you know this is the commission proposal to free the discrepancy some of the discrepancy is there the police ke liye aapka ek hai
Thank you. Thank you, कमीशन Uh, I just uh, flag this issue that from 1st January 2020 to 30th June 2020, uh, that report yeah. is still awaited. Similarly, the next part of it, maybe due to COVID, it has not uh, coming from the side of the state. Please look into it. Uh, negligence and it is natural death. So beyond that. It becomes very difficult. Then we are taking up the officers who are absolutely not at fault, and ultimately this compensation which gets paid is to be recovered from the officers concerned. It only creates problems administratively in the long run. I don't think it is helpful for the system. So this is the reason why I pointed this out to you, so that you will have to take a call on this. Otherwise, what will happen is that there is no reason for a magistral inquiry. We just Fix the compensation and just okay. give it like we do it in SCST Act or otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you. I mean, it's a broad issue. It, I mean, I have gone through a large number of files. So this is the reason why I have flagged it because somewhere along the line, what happens is the advocates uh, would continuously try to uh, put the representations there, and obviously on a sympathetic front, we generally tend to give the compensation. But administratively, it becomes a difficult situation because how do you fix responsibility for an officer if the magistrate inquiry says uh, there has been no lapse? That is the issue. So if the magistrate inquiry gives an all clear, beyond that you fix responsibility on officers. How do we do that? That is the problem. A personal kind of my you know conviction, but. The limitation of our the official level in the commission, ultimately because it is a quasi-judicial kind of uh, a decision. What I will do on your behalf, I can assure you, we will place it before the commission so that none of our innocent officials are penalized for a you know a natural death, whether it has happened in the police custody. Or it has happened at the judicial custody. Thank you. Yeah. The new uh, institutions that we want to bring around, and this is an area where NHRC and essentially the idea of strengthening of forensic science uh, tests, uh, tests in the forensic areas is very important. Or otherwise, so this is a very sensitive and uh, area which needs a lot of work to be done. If he has taken it up, we will seek support from you on this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.